What's up guys, I just got done with Total Body Badass from Morning Meltdown 100. Super challenging workout, it involves a ton of legs. But I'm gonna make an invite to you guys. We're starting our exclusive test group on July 29th and you have the opportunity to go through that program with us before everybody else. But I wanna give you guys a lesson. Yesterday we went on a canoe ride. Kalen right here really wanted to canoe the river. He's never been on a canoe trip before. So we rented a boat and they shuttled us to the boat launch. And it was super, uh, well, it was sunny with partly cloudy skies. And as we started the rafting trip, I let them paddle. We were having fun. We were enjoying nature. It was so peaceful. You could see the water was super clear. You could see the, the birds were flying around and the wildlife. And then the storm clouds started rolling super dark. And I'll show you them right over here after I show you guys some of our moves. But it was super exciting, super fun, super relaxing, great experience with the kids. As these storm clouds started to come in, it started to get a little bit windy and it started to rain a little bit and they started to get a little bit cold. So we, we can't be upset. We have like two hours to paddle down this river. And so we start paddling, I'm paddling. And one thing I want you guys to know is that <laughs> as the wind started blowing, it started blowing against us. It got harder and harder to continue down the river. So I'm paddling as hard as I can. So lesson number one, I want you guys to know that when life storm blows against you and it gets a little bit challenging and difficult, you are stronger than you think you are. You can exert more energy and effort than you think because at that moment, these two boys, I wanted, them, I wanted to get them down the river as fast as I could before the rain hit us or before the lightning storm came. The second thing that I want you guys to know is that, the second thing that I want you guys to know is although it was super, okay, be quiet for one minute. The thing that I want you guys to know is at, although it was super um, the windy and the storm started to come out, we decided that we were gonna be happy, enthusiastic, and enjoy the view around us and still have fun and not be miserable. So that's lesson number one. You can have fun and have a smile on your face through the storms. What happened when it started raining? What happened after the rain? What started coming? Uh, hell. Hail! It started hailing on us. And I'm no shirt, no life jacket. It's a shallow river. These guys have the life jacket, but the hail balls start pelting these kids on the head. And I'm tucking them under me. What and what? And we want a towel because we were cold. They were super cold. So it started, they got super wet. The hail's coming down. I'm tucking him under me on the canoe and trying to paddle, covering them. I'm getting pelted on my back. And it wasn't as fun at that moment, but here's the one thing I want you guys to know. When life gets super hard, super challenging, it's okay to ask for help. So what we do is I, I docked it on some random <laughs> person's dock. We pulled it up, I threw the kids on the dock, I tipped the canoe, I fell in holding my phone and my keys and my shirt. Uh, we ran down this trail, hiding under the tree, and we were shivering. It's windy, it's pouring. The rain started coming harder, so we kept going and we found a cabin. There was no one there and we sat on the porch, cuddled up together. And so it's important when life gets hard as well that you get around other people and you cuddle together and you lean into each other. We were freezing and I didn't want these kids to get hypothermia, so we walked down the road again while it was raining. I'm carrying Malik and we knocked on a door that had cars and a guy, a, an amazing man that we don't know named John, just waved us in as I knocked and I said, hey John, you don't know us, uh, but we got stranded out here on the river. Do you have any towels where I could warm these boys up? Uh, we got warmed up. John, uh, after about 10 minutes of talking with John and getting warmed up, he got us in his car and started to drive us back to uh, the place called Max Inn. And we're so grateful for people like John that let a stra complete stranger in to his house with two little boys. Uh, and the one thing I want you guys to understand after that uh, about this message is be that person. Be someone like John that just uplifts and helps and supports people when they're going through a hard time. Guys, that's our quick message about our experience yesterday. I hope you have an incredible 4th of July. Be safe, have fun, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.